What's going on YouTube? Spending the night here in Missoula, or no, Billings, Montana. Uh, been a while since I did a video, probably about a couple weeks or so. Um, had some bad stuff with the truck. Uh, was in the shop almost every week. So, been in the shop now for, I would take like one load out, put it in the shop. One load in the shop. One load in the shop. So, um, cause what was it? Yeah, I was in the shop when I got done with orientation. Picked up a load out of Idaho, went to Minnesota with it. Put the truck in the shop for check engine light, no code. Found out that it was the SRC in op. Uh, code so the the first shop did an update and a reprogram the second shop did a put a new decomposition tube in it so then I left out of there last Friday went to Oregon with a load that was a uh, load of steel that I tarped, uh, sheet, sheet steel. And on my way out there, check engine light came back on. So I delivered that load on Monday, this last Monday, and had to put the truck in the shop again. They found out that they did all their testing and all that for warranty, and they found out that the knock sensors were bad. So they did that. So then after that, I drove 400 miles to go up to Ferndale, Washington to pick up a load that I have, which I have now, is aluminum bars, which is tarped. So kind of no use in showing you guys that. It's just a tarp, tarp load with that I got my four foot drops on. Um, on my way up there, check engine light came on get up there so I left the shop I was in that shop Monday left out Thursday afternoon <clears throat> driving Thursday night and check engine light comes on I'm kind of like frustrated and beat off about this so I went into a rest area uh, north of Seattle took took my break and Left out in the morning, started the truck up, <clears throat> check engine light was still on. Got up to where I was supposed to load, got loaded, started the truck up. After I got loaded, check engine light was gone. Okay, cool. I'm like, maybe it's sensors working their way or some stupid thing, some stupid electronic thing. And then left out of there, Got down to about Seattle, check engine light came back on. Called the company, told them what was up, and they're like, WTF, you know. They're frustrated, I'm frustrated. So, drove all day Friday, check engine light was on. Drove, drove today from Spokane, Washington, over to here in Billings and uh, met a buddy for lunch over in um, I think it was like Three Forks or something like that it was it was like a small town pump kind of a thing a uh, small little truck stop town but had had lunch um, started the truck up after I got done having lunch check engine light was off okay cool all day since then the check engine light has been off I'm hoping that it stays that way and I'm hoping that I don't have to put the truck back in the shop and lose you know all kinds of money even though warranty is paying for it warranty doesn't pay for my downtime it doesn't pay for my lost revenue so here's a uh, hoping and praying that the light does not come on again um, and with what I've been learning with what that 
check engine light is, I'm thinking about just saying screw it and ignoring it. Unless I have an actual code that comes on the dash or I have that check motor with the wrench symbol, then I'll put it in the shop. But from now on, because of these new technology POS trucks, um, they're, they're too complicated, they're too sensitive, they're just not, I don't like them. Uh, emissions is crap. Um, should have never been put in, into trucks. The shit should have never been brought over from Europe because that's where it started. The state of California should have never brought this over here and mandated it for us. So, yeah, that's how I feel about emissions. Um, but I'm guessing you guys already know that. So, this is where I'm at. Uh, it's Saturday night right now. I am looking at delivering this load in St. Cloud, Minnesota on Monday. Got to go home again. Not by my wanting. Um, I was told that some paperwork for the state of Montana that the office uh, dropped the ball on. So they got the state of Montana to send that paperwork over to my house. And I have to do that paperwork and I have to get it notarized and all that but then hopefully while I'm home doing that I'll be doing laundry and prepping meals and stuff like that getting everything situated and probably get my hot plate and some frying pans put in in here so I can cook in the truck at the same time but other than that that's what's going on guys just sitting here in Billings Montana for the night um, probably gonna walk in here take a shower and then wake up at four in the morning mountain time and boogie loo east for minnesota for monday delivery and then be home hopefully for a couple days and then be back on the road after that so see you guys later catch you on the flip keep the shiny side up greasy side down